In this video, today I have a few topics, and one of those topics being, I've been getting a lot of DMs lately, and a lot of comments saying to do a face reveal, and I feel as if every face reveal, you need a good milestone, so I'm putting my milestone at 20,000 subscribers. Once I hit 20,000 subscribers, I will put a face reveal out, and then you'll be seeing more of my face, and more and more every single video, and I'll be doing day in the lives, maybe even a house tour, and... Yeah, a lot of vlogs, so it's gonna be great. So I can't wait to reach 20k. Also, you guys showed so much support on my last video. Yeah, I did get swatted. I wish, I really wish I did have a video of that. I should have been recording on my webcam. That would have been lit. It would have been so funny. And, you know, it is legal to record the police. So a lot of you guys are saying how I hate the police. I don't hate the police. I have mad respect for them. It's just the corrupt ones that I want to go. I don't respect the corrupt ones. They need to go. It's But yeah, cops are chill. Some cops, at least. They're pretty nice. With my encounters, they've been nice. For the main topic of the video, I did swat someone. And it's not what you guys think he needed to be swatted. It was just one of those situations where I had really no control of and I had to do that. It was a last second thing and... I had it, you know, it was in the moment kind of thing. So this is how it all started. I'm in a party chat with my good friend, Bobby. I've known him for like five plus years. He's a really good friend of mine. Uh, he runs his own YouTube channel called Bam's Playground. So if you guys want, you can go check him out, you know. But this isn't a shout out. I'm just telling you guys what's up. So it all started when we were in a party chat. Me, Bobby, and this 14-year-old named Perplexed Orb. So basically, Perplexed Orb, he was a good friend of ours. We met him through just playing Call of Duty, and we taught him how to quickscope, you know? Because we just picked him up in a lobby and decided to teach him how to quickscope and take him in as our little junior. So one day, Perplexed Orb was just really depressed and saying all this fucked up shit, saying how he was going to kill himself. And I'm trying to, me and Bobby are trying to talk him out. We're like, dude, come on. Life's way better than this. It's going to get way better. Like, you're only 14. This kid then says that he has the shotgun next to him. And I. this is how I know he wasn't lying. Because he, in his FaceTime videos, that when we, me, Bobby, and him would always uvu, um, he showed us the shotgun. And this was a fucking fat-ass shotgun. It was a 12-gauge shotgun. And... So that's how I know that he actually had a shotgun. So he's telling me over and over again, he's telling us, yeah, I have my shotgun next to me, it's loaded, I'm just gonna put it to my head and I'm gonna fucking kill myself. And I'm like, dude, come on, you're 14, do not talk like this, where are your parents? And I said, you know what, dude, before you do anything, just let me get your number and I, let me call you, dude. Let me call you one-on-one. -on -one. So I, I get his number and I the first thing I do is I search him up. I search his number up, I find out the parent, I found out his parents location because they're account holder on his phone, and I found out his address. So I then call him and I keep talking to him so he doesn't do anything stupid. And I just I just talk to him over and over again, tell him, dude, like, dude, life's gonna get better, man. And he, he keeps denying it. He's like, no man, he's like, I hate my life, my parents are shitty, I wanna kill myself. And I'm like, dude, come on, you can't do this. I was like, that's really stupid. And this whole time I'm doing it, I'm getting all this stuff together. And, and then I finally get off the phone with him. And I called 911. But I didn't want to call 911 at first. Me and Bobby were trying, like, I am in back and forth. Or like, I'm like, dude, should I really, should I, should we, like, technically swap this kid and get the cops over at his house to save his life? And Bobby's like, yeah, of course. Like, let's do it. Like, we need to. So I call 911 and I say, hello. I give him all my personal information and I said, um, this is not a joke. I'm on an Xbox Live party chat. I've known this kid for a while. He's telling me he's gonna kill himself and he says he has a shotgun next to him. And I've seen the shotgun before when we've been on video chat and I just wanted to make sure he's safe so I need someone to go to his house. So they're like, yeah, no problem. So they go to his house and you can tell when they reach get to his place because he's on he's still on the mic with us and he says he says oh shit someone's at my door give me a minute and then he answers the door and it's the police obviously so he runs back to the mic and he's all frantic he's like what the fuck he's he's scared as hell he's like why are the cops here why are the cops here like what are you doing and um i said i'm sorry man i was like i had to do it i can't let you i can't let you end your life like that's fucked up so Next thing I know, he has to put the he puts the mic down, and we just hear chit chat in the background. We eventually, well, eventually his uh his character logs out of the out of uh, Xbox, 
and we really haven't heard from him since. He ended up blocking us, and I mean, if he wants to block us for saving his life and helping him out, trying to be his friend, that's fine, man. Uh, you do you. I mean, we do miss him. He was a cool kid. We just wanted to protect him. We didn't want him to hurt himself. He was a really cool kid, and you're 14 years old. You got a whole life ahead of you, like, shit. But yeah, anyways, we haven't talked to him since. It's kind of a bummer that he decided to block us after that. I mean, I was just trying to help. I'm not a dick. I'm not going to swat you for no reason. Like, the only time I will swat someone is to save their life. And that's a rare occasion. And this happened to be one of them. So, I did that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like this entertaining story for you. Uh, it's not every day that you get to swat someone and have it be legal, you know what I mean? But yeah. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for my next video in two days. And I'm out. No, we're not ending it yet, Yubs. I got proof of the whole incident that happened on Facebook through our logs when we were talking to each other. Uh, this is These are the pictures I was able to pull up. I was able to pull up four pictures to show you guys on the whole incident that happened and proof of it and not a day goes by where we wouldn't do it again just to save our friend we cared about him and you know just just know that we did it out of support and out of caring we didn't hate the kid we loved him to death and just know that suicidal is never the answer if you are you are ever feeling suicidal or depressed or whatever just know that me and yubs are here for you guys and we are here to support you any way possible so if you ever need someone to hear you out we are here just let us know on twitter or youtube whatever comments it's it's whatever guys but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video you know what to do hit that like button support yubs and uh yeah peace out